Hey guys, it's Mashaba, and today's video is gonna be a review on the brand new Halo Beauty Multivitamin Body and Brain Booster. Wow, that's a really long name, and that's not even the full name. But yeah, today we're gonna be looking into everything from the before, the after, the claims, all that shit. Right now, I'm not wearing anything fancy, just my sriracha pajamas and no makeup except for like a lip tint but you know we're friends here so you know i mean in this video you're seeing a zoom in of my skin for the past four weeks so i think we're basically like soulmates at this point so this packaging is beautiful just like the classic halo beauty same thing as the kiwi seed booster and the hair skin nails it looks like something that you would put on your vanity like just the beautiful font and the ingredients are really well detailed and laid out it tells you specifically how much of everything I really love the consistency of this beautiful packaging right here. This is the box that it came in. This is so cute. This is like the Halo Beauty Squad of everything. Low game, strong. This is adorable. Right here is where you get the actual product itself. You just scoop it up and this is basically it. Personally, I prefer the box packaging of the kiwi seed and the hair skin nails because it did have a picture of tati and it was in pink so i thought it was a little cuter but i mean it's just cardboard you're gonna throw that shit out later so it's not a big deal i'm also going to include a zoom in of the actual vitamin itself this was pre-filmed because now this is basically done on the website it says this is the full name her daily multi body and brain booster so i got the her because i identify as a female and in it, it says provides enhanced stress support, promotes cognition and clear thinking, nourishes dry eyes and supports visions. Benefits are proprietary. Her body and brain booster daily multivitamin is made in the USA with the highest quality ingredients in a state of the art facility and is specifically formulated to work with original Halo or Halo Kiwi to provide meaningful results. It contains nearly the same ingredients as the His formula. However, it contains different amounts to meet the unique dietary needs of a woman. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, I don't need to pause. I wonder how this would work with someone who is transitioning, you know? Like, if someone was transitioning from male to female, female to male, you know? Like, I wonder if this would have any effect on it. That would be really cool to know. The woman's daily multi includes rose hip powder, which is an amazing free radical fighter, antioxidant collagen booster, and skin nourishing supplement. As an added benefit, the ingredient profile has been designed to help alleviate symptoms of dry eye. So basically from the description, this is super focused on the skin and the eyes and a bit on the body and the brain. So this is why this video is super focused on the eyes and the skin because this is what this product claims to really focus on. So this is my skin before using the multivitamin shit and you can see there's not much going on just like hyperpigmentation open pores and dryness also i'm so sorry i accidentally deleted a zoom in of the left side of my eye because i'm a dumbass but basically it looks like the rest of my face so i'm so sorry about that so yeah so you can see a zoom in of my entire face and so far there's not much going on my skin isn't irritated or anything i also zoomed in on my eyes so you guys can really see how my eyes look like before i started halo so now we're gonna be going into week one like week one that shit scared the shit out of me Oof, week one was a tough ride i was considering not using this vitamin anymore because my skin just, my skin was screaming for help. Like it was like, Lord Jesus, please fucking save me because my skin looked crazy. I got crazy ass bumps everywhere. I mean, especially on my forehead, which never happens. Like my forehead is usually super smooth, like not even worry lines or anything. Like I can use the worst and disgusting. You can literally rub shit on my forehead and I rarely ever break out, but with this, it made my forehead really weird, which is, which never happens to me. And the hyperpigmentation and everything was just way worse. And my skin looked oilier, oil, oilier, which is not a bad thing. I mean, if you guys are looking for more hydrated skin, I have dry combo skin, so this could help you. But overall, the first week, I just, I hated it. Like week two, it did calm a little bit the fuck down, but it definitely looked a lot worse compared to the before it looked more irritated than the before and there were a few spots on my skin and 
like straight up acne that wasn't there i could see you know the first week the redness was forming and week two was when the acne was really just going crazy and thankfully my forehead did clear up but it definitely wasn't the best and there also was acne going on a lot on the sides of my face which is weird normally acne happens straight up on my cheeks but this was mostly on like the perimeter of my face and yeah Thankfully, my eyes did look a little less red, which is one of the good things. I'm moving on to week three. My hyperpigmentation was a little less bad, and my skin was overall clearer, and it did look better than the previous weeks, but it definitely still wasn't as good as the before. And also, my eyes do look less red, so it kind of went crazy, and then it calmed down a little bit by week three, but overall definitely not anything life-altering or any clear benefits you know and now week four probably one of my best weeks out of everything this was the least craziest week out of all of it i would say in terms of skin hyperpigmentation was almost gone and also most of the parts of my face seemed pretty okay and my eyes do visibly look less red, which is a good thing. And also, this week was the week I started wearing contacts. I'm wearing contacts right now because I promised to myself, as soon as I get my braces off, I'd get contacts. And it didn't seem to interfere. Like, my eyes didn't really get irritated with contacts. I got to see my eye doctor, so that was cool because now I can really tell you if it made any difference with my eyes. And based on the eye exam, I took an eye exam about one or two months ago. So this was super recent compared to this, so we could really see a before and after. My eye doctor didn't really notice any changes with my vision of my eyes or anything. So for the eyes, it didn't make a huge difference Well, when we were testing it out and stuff. So do what you want with that. It does look a little less red, but not any actual life-changing shit going on here. For my skin, I would say it did look better. Also, sorry if my lips look super bright and red and shit. It's because I was trying out a lip tint and then I forgot that I was gonna film this after, which is basically a fail. Thankfully, lips have nothing to really do with this, so you know we can look past that. So yeah, in terms of my skin with this product, it did go kind of batshit crazy and it did calm down. But overall, not really much improvement, just a lot of ups and downs. In terms of the eyes, body, and brain, the eyes, based on the consultation with my eye doctor, didn't really make a difference. Body and brain, I mean, if you really want improvements in your brain, I would say see a psychiatrist because... I don't really see how these vitamins improve my brain and in terms of the body I also don't really notice anything it didn't really say much for the body like is it hydration in the body is it you know like pain relief or anything I didn't notice anything with my body so I don't know I feel like for the body it could have been more specific and I don't know if I try this again because it wasn't consistently getting better it was just a lot of ups and downs with my skin and my skin is super sensitive and I don't want to use a product that makes my skin look up and down and overall in the end look the same as the before. I just don't think that's worth it, especially with shipping and shit, like this is basically $30. So $30 for my skin to basically look the same and worse in the middle of it, I don't think it's worth it. Also it didn't really do much for my eyes and my body and my brain and all this stuff and I know you can say well, you know, one month isn't really enough to test out vitamins, but I think it is enough considering the standard that's held with this product because when you look at the Halo website, there's so many before and afters of people just trying it out for a week and they see like these magical results and you know, and I feel like if you're going to promote a product's before and after after one week, I feel like it's definitely valid to judge, you know, how good a product is after one month of using it. So I don't think I'm going too harsh on it, I just don't think it's that great. And that's typically the trend with Halo Beauty, you know. I love Tati. I love Tati. I wish I could just love every single one of her products because I love her as a person. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want any other videos on any other random shit, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.